Okay, so one more example here of using a double angle identity to solve an equation. So um, you may have actually noticed too, uh, I changed this problem a little bit because I think it was actually a little tricky the way it stood. Um, you could actually argue, before I had a negative 8, you could uh, argue based on the range of each one of these functions uh, that that equation would have no solution. But it would be a little tricky, I think, to attack directly. So I've changed this one a little bit just so we can use this, uh, just to illustrate how we can use these ideas of double angles to solve some equations, okay? Again, you know, not everything, but you're going to have tricks to do as many problems as you can. So. Okay, so I'm going to replace the sine of 2t here with 2 sine t times cosine of t plus 4 sine t plus 2 cosine t. What I'm going to do is add the 4 to both sides. And now what we have, um, we've got four terms uh, kind of hanging out on the left side. So I'm going to do a little factoring by grouping here. And uh, so I'm going to group the first two terms together. So notice we could factor a 2 out, and we could also factor a sine t out. And I believe that would leave me with a cosine. So 2 sine t times cosine t will give us our first term. 2 sine t, uh, if we multiply that by a positive 2, we'll get our positive 4 sine t. Notice from our second two terms, we can do the same thing. We can uh, factor out a 2. And that'll leave us with cosine of t plus 2, well, equals 0. And now when we do our factoring by grouping, we, we'll have 2 sine of t plus 2 in one set of parentheses. So again, recall we take uh, basically the, the stuff out front of the parentheses. We've got our uh, cosine of t plus 2 equals 0 in our other set of parentheses. And now we're simply just going to set each factor equal to, to 0. So 2 sine t plus 2 equals 0. Well, uh, we could subtract 2 from both sides. Then we would have 2 sine t equals negative 2. Well, just divide both sides by 2. That, that'll give us sine of t equals negative 1. Our second equation, well, if we take cosine of t plus 2 and set that equal to 0. Well, when we subtract uh, the 2, we'll get cosine of t equals negative 2. This is outside of the range of cosine. Again, so this equation simply has no solutions. Well, we just wanted solutions uh, in the interval uh, 0 to 2 pi. The only angle where sine equals negative 1, uh, so again, uh, sine is the y-coordinate, so sine is going to equal negative 1 at the angle 3 pi over 2, and that would be our, our lone single solution to this equation.